hey what's up guys uh, thank you very much for being an electric uh, i really appreciate that now if you're new here my name is david please don't forget to subscribe to like and share now today uh we have this guy in front of us and is ecu so today we are talking about ecu this is electronic control unit now as i've been telling you in previous videos that these engine bigger engineers have got ecu there though there are other engineers that don't have ecu okay so those one they will have something like uh, a me mechanical governor okay uh you know uh governor is uh you, you know a mechanical uh you know device that controls the amount of fuel or the amount of fuel that the generator can burn okay for it to get power all right so that one to be mechanical it will be set fixed it will be fixed unless you go and uh, open it by the moment you start the engine it will always you know drink or consume juice constantly all right now for this guy everything is electronic that's why you see uh why i tell you ecu so it's a governor it controls the fuel so this is the an inlet okay this is an inlet and we have an outlet right here so your fuel comes in here that's why you see it's even bigger than uh this one okay so let me just first explain a few things uh so from your tank uh from your tank you you have your fuel going through the filtration okay your fuel will go through first the water separator then it will go through the pre-fuel filter and then it will go through the final filter okay then it will come here okay so now when it gets here uh this one will decide how much or what amount of fuel uh decides to release as the engine run and then this fuel will come through here and uh so after it goes through uh this this here then we have got something here okay so this is called a rail okay this is a rail uh injector rail so if the fuel comes from this ecu it comes right here okay it will connect on one of these the engine which uh use this ecu and this rail is a six piston engine okay a six piston engine so that's why you see we have here one two three four five six okay so the seventh one becomes the inlet and then the eighth one is the return okay so your return fuel comes from here all right all right so you have the rail you have your injectors an injector look like this okay this is an injector so this is what uh you know uh injects fuel in the compressing chamber or in the piston chamber this okay and uh it has got contacts a positive and a negative that means that uh it has uh, a part which moves here uh, a solenoid okay so this will control both a solenoid and a pilot okay now uh at least you know what that we will have a, another video for that but at least you understand okay now back to our ecu so this guy is the heart of the engine the engine have got uh various uh sensors on it for it to be able to you know to work uh conveniently okay so most of the the sensors that we have on this engine uh we have uh engine coolant temperature we have fuel uh temperature we have flywheel pulse transmitter uh, and then the, that uh, flywheel pulse transmitter also that uh, is, it's uh, it's the magnetic pickup okay then we have distribution pulse transmitter we have uh, oil temperature stroke or pressure sensor this one doubles so it will uh it will give us the oil temperature and also the pressure uh, the oil pressure then we have air pressure stroke or air temperature so air pressure and then temperature 
and then uh, we have got also the the fuel pressure right here on the rail okay this one will be inside the engine okay so those are some of the seven sensors that are going to be on this engine and all the seven sensors uh will be right here okay uh right here all right all the seven the sensors will be connected to this connector here okay now this will be the connector c of this controller or this ecu okay now we have got again here connector a which will connect the injectors okay so now you see that this ecu it's controlling the amount of fuel so uh the amount of fuel that goes uh, goes into the engine so it gives out the good ratio uh fuel to air okay so we have the injector here which are controlled by the same ecu the fuel controls by the same ecu we have a temperature i mean a pressure sensor here and also we have uh, another pressure sensor and flow on the pump on the high pressure pump okay all right now the other thing also is all the sensors all the sensors that i have mentioned uh, above they all feed right here yeah we talked about that all the sensors all the injectors okay and then this part now takes the rest of the thing it will control uh you know uh when the engine should start because uh it now has to communicate with the edcu and the controller okay so that it can you know allow you know the the, the starter motor uh the preheat uh, fuel preheat you know all those kind of uh stuff okay so it's uh this instrument on bigger engines it is uh, paramount okay because it does a uh, real a great job it gives high degree of protection on the engine uh, for example an engine cannot crank if uh let me say if uh uh if the turbo uh is not working so the sensor will the sensor at the manifold the air manifold will see that the air is not enough because it gives us it gives us the air pressure okay so if the pressure below a certain threshold definitely the engine will go off so you see that then uh, if 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 the fuel pressure also is low here okay maybe we might have a problem with the pump because if this pressure is low then the injection is not going to be uh you know optimal so definitely uh the the system will not work well or th there will be no you know more power there will be no power in the engine so that's why they put all these protection is that the engine will just shut down if any of those are not corresponding to the real values that they were set all right okay uh now this guy uh the edcu and the controller sometimes they incorporate the edcu right in here okay uh but in most cases they separate them okay so this guy is uh is really uh hard you see it is a metal casing because normally it is near the engine and the engine is really very hot so they really compact it such that uh the temperature uh it can i mean it can withstand high degree of temperature such that it cannot ruin the, the electronic parts that are, are in here okay so this is the ecu it will differ if um now this is uh iveco uh iveco that that houses this ecu but i'm pretty sure that the ecu that you've seen on packneys all on volvos or on caminis or on caterpillars or uh quella and uh, those ones are all different okay so the modification the function is of uh, these stuffs are the same but the modification the look will be different okay yeah but uh, it's something that is always attached to the engine so you're able 
to see it okay so uh i think i've said it all uh this is the ecu and uh you've known its function okay so i really appreciate your time here uh if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe to like and share and sharing to those people whom you think that this kind of content uh you know wow them so until next time i'm out